Why are we both doing this? We're trying to warm up in this cold studio. Clouds, lightning, and smoky sunsets are all science-based weather events. King 5 meteorologist Ben Derry loves to figure out why things happen, especially if they're related to weather. So we've asked him to do a few science experiments for us today. Thank you. Yeah, First all of my all, pleasure. We're going to be playing with electricity later, and I was told to remove all the metal from uh, my person, so we, I'm a little concerned. We do have a reluctant volunteer as well <laughs> that's going to demonstrate the lightning. You're that's a at reluctant the end. host yeah. and a reluctant executive producer. Other than that, though, no problem. Yeah, this Let's is, start with clouds. Yes, clouds. We've all seen clouds before, especially this July. We've seen a lot more clouds yes. than it, we, I feel like we should. And tall clouds yeah. and different kinds of clouds. Is that because of the warmth we've had? Well, it's just it's just because we had every one of these weather systems moving through. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually this time of year we have high pressure and it usually means sunshine and warm temperatures hasn't been the case yet but eventually we'll get there summer will eventually start. summer happens after july 15th yes so most of the time we're going to demonstrate how a cloud forms and you okay. can do this at home with your kids all we have is a, a glass jar uh, water with some blue food coloring mm -hmm. now to make a cloud we need a couple of things we need moisture that's our water just above this water it's warm water by the way we have a bunch of little water molecules yep. just bubbling around in there water molecules need to grab onto something in order to produce a cloud in this case smoke particles but it can be little bits of soil or dust or dirt, anything in the right. atmosphere to grab onto. That's why we've had so much color when we've had the smoke from fires. Yeah, well, we we'll actually talk about that as well okay. uh, later on. Uh, we're going to add ice on top of here to demonstrate okay. our water molecule getting higher in the sky, cooling and condensing, and that's how we form a cloud. Now, in order to start this, I do need to start a fire. <laughs> Then we invite you in, you start fires, you want to electrocute us, it's all... So, I'm going to put that okay. on there. So now we have smoke particles in here, and now you oh, can see our cloud, how quickly that's forming. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like fog, right? Because fog is just clouds that are on the ground. That's all that fog is, which is kind of interesting. So, look yeah, at look at how foggy it is. And if we did this big enough, we might be able to get it to rain inside the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'd be very fun. All right, we're going to let our cloud go. Cloud go. Okay. Give me a countdown. Three, Three two, one. Woo. Look at that. It's science. It's magic. That's really cool. Yeah. What a great way to demonstrate that at home, like, you know, with your kids to yeah. kind of get them to know what's going on. Okay, so now we're going to talk about smoky sunrises and yes. sunsets when the sky is red. Really red uh, and really, yeah, you can certainly tell when there's more smoke in the sky. It just seems like there's a lot more uh, color to it. And we're yep. going to demonstrate why that is. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. and Do you want me to uh, yeah, over here? Yeah, like just so? out of the way okay. right here. So what we have here is just a glass jar with some water in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this spotlight right here. If Yeah, Tim, very good, as if right on cue. So <laughs> the sunlight shines through our atmosphere, right? And the sunlight is actually white light, okay? And what turns it that red color is we're adding stuff to the atmosphere. In this case, smoke particles. Now, we're not going to add smoke particles here, but what we are going to do is add a little bit of milk, okay? because this is going to demonstrate some added particles in our atmosphere. Notice on the white wall right here, it's just white light that shines yep, through there. that's all we've now, got. Now, think about what's going to happen when I'm going to add this milk. It's just skim milk, all right? Just a little bit is all I'm going to ask, add. And watch what happens to the color on the, on the back wall there when I add a little bit. Go ahead and dim the lights. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah, you see it kind of turns that almost brownish redder color now explain this because what you added is just um, translucent white but yeah. we get orange light out of it yeah well what's happening is as the light is shining through the glass it's bouncing off of every one of these particles more so it's called scattering of light that's why we have generally orange and red sunsets uh, it's just there's more stuff in there so there's more uh, stuff that the light has to bounce off of and scatter and then and it turns out to be this color. Yeah. Well, that explains it because we've had the reddest sunrises and sunsets. Amazing pictures, but yes. we don't always want all that smoke in. All right, now for the thing I've been waiting for for 24 hours, we're going to make electricity happen. <laughs> <laughs> So we don't, see, lightning. we don't see a ton of thunderstorms in this part of the world, but when they do happen, they can be a little scary. Mm -hmm. We're going to demonstrate how lightning forms, and we're going right. to do that what using... What is this thing? This is called a Von de Graaff generator. Of course so it is. So basically, it's producing a static charge, or it will be once we turn it on. All right. What's so, it for? What does this thing normally well, do? Well, this is just a belt that rotates, and what it's doing for us is it's separating a charge. Negative charge towards the bottom and positive charge towards the top. Okay. That's exactly what happens in thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are basically like big batteries. They separate a charge, and what lightning is, is the discharge between 
the positive and negative charge. Should I stand charge. back? Maybe just a little bit. Okay. That's a good distance right here. So <laughs> again, here's our. How about from here? That's perfect. This is our positive charge. This is a, a wand that's more of a neutral charge, but. Mm -hmm. Man. You were paying so much more attention in school than I was. <laughs> I just have a desire for for knowledge, yes. for learning, and stuff like that. So again, uh, hear the crackle that's yes, happening. Yes, I do. I do that. indeed. Think of that as the thunder, and the jump, uh, the the sparks there is the lightning. So again, lightning is trying to find the path of least resistance, and we have our thunder and lightning now. Okay. So, like, why is this dangerous than if you're near a tree or something like we that? We are going to demonstrate that. We, we are need our volunteer Heidi. <laughs> Heidi Ng is our executive producer, a.k.a. the tree today. This is our tree. So this is our demonstration showing us why it's a very bad idea to stand under or near a tree during a thunderstorm. Okay. okay. You okay? Do we have, do you have any last words you'd <laughs> like to share? We tried this again once or twice, and, you know, it, we only started a fire once, once so it's fine. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do is place your hand on there and kind of palm. <laughs> and, again, it's... <laughs> Initially, initially, it's not going to shock you. Initially. Initially. Yep, just like that. Mm. Okay? And with your other hand, hold your other hand out and kind of spread your fingers apart. Just like that. Perfect. She's Ooh. a tree. Okay, so when I turn this on, don't touch her because she will be electrified. Okay? What is even happening? So it might take a little while, but in a couple of seconds, Heidi's going to feel a little tingly. Okay? Let's say, hypothetically, you are on a hike. All right, up yeah. in the Cascades. You're on a hike, and a there's hike, a thunderstorm Heidi. nearby, and you start to feel the hair on the back of your mm -hmm. neck starting to stand mm -hmm. up a little bit. That's a bad sign. That means that lightning is trying to reach you, okay? So it's kind of tough to see, uh, but her hair is starting to stand up yes, on Yes, it end. is. You can see a little bit. It's, it's a little tougher to see, but again, she's electrified. <laughs> more and more of it. If you can turn your head to the right, Heidi. Uh, other way. My right. There you go. Um, <laughs> Can you see her hair popping up into the air? So, More of it's coming up. <laughs> How do you feel? Everything okay? Yep. Yeah. Tingly. T okay, great. <laughs> so let's say that um, lightning, let's see, our lightning strikes this tree. Right. If I'm standing next to the tree, mm -hmm. not only does the tree get struck by lightning, but if I'm inadvertently standing on the roots, I might end up being, I, <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> I might get struck by lightning too. Okay, so again, it's so flowing through Heidi, our tree. It, look at through the roots. Your hair. This is amazing. It's like your three, two, one. <laughs> Does that hurt? <laughs> Can I try it once, or is this too much? Here, this is. Nope. This might actually be a lot of fun. All right, we'll we'll discharge you. Okay. okay. Go ahead and grab onto her hand. <laughs> and with your All other right. hand, hold it out like that. Mm -hmm. Am okay. I now a tree also? You are now another tree. Oh my God. <laughs> so this might also again take a little while. Because uh, we discharged her, so <laughs> that's like <laughs> great. And this is why I took all my metal off, right? Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah. Uh, but because oh, I'm feeling a little something now. You feeling something? Yeah. Right. That's not just the coffee that you had earlier this it morning. It might be. <laughs> I took a melatonin instead of a vitamin this morning. Does anybody d know that? And then I had about 15 <laughs> espressos. <laughs> <Don't that. laughs> so it just shows that trees and people are actually good conductors of electricity. That's amazing. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Thank you. You're such a good sport. Ben, thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, all right. Mm. We'll, we'll go and have a, a luncheon cocktail when we come back. Help.